I will attend her here and woo her with some spirit when she comes. Say that she braille, well, I'll tell her plain. She sings as sweetly as a nightingale. If she deny to wed, I'll crave the day when I shall ask the bands and we be married. Ah, good morrow, Kate, for that's your name, I hear. Well, have you heard but something hard of hearing? They call me Catherine that you talk of me. You lie in faith, for you are called plain Kate, and bonny Kate, and sometimes Kate the cursed. But uh, Kate, the prettiest Kate in all of Christendom, Kate of Kate Hall, my super dainty Kate. After hearing of thy mildness praised in every town, thy virtue spoken of, and thy beauty sounded, I myself am moved to woo thee for my wife. <laughs> moved? In good time, him that moved you hither, move you hence. Come, come, wasp, you are too angry. If I be wasp, it's best to wear my stick. I swear I'll strike you if you come again. You strike me, you are no gentleman. Come, Kate, look not so sour. It is my fashion <laughs> when I see why? Here's no crab, therefore look not sour. There is. Ah, show it me. Had I glass, I would. What, do you mean my face? Well, I am just such a young one. By George, I am too young for you. You are with her. Tis with care. I care not. Kate, Kate, come, escape not so. I tip you if I tarry, let me go. No, not a witch. I find you passing gentle. Twas told me you were rough and coy and sullen, and now I report a liar. For I find you pleasant, game some and passing courteous. Though slow in speech, yet sweet as springtime flowers. <laughs> Why does the world report that Kate doth live? Kate, like the hazel twig, is straight and slender. Ah, oh, Kate, you do not live. Let me see thee walk. Go, fool, where did you learn all this goodly speech? It is a stempery from my mother wit. A witchy mother witless, else her son. Nay, Kate, setting all this chat aside, your father hath consented that you shall be my wife. And will you, nil you, I will marry you. For I am born to tame you, Kate, from a wild Kate to a Kate as conformable as other household Kates. But uh, make not denied, here comes your father. Now, Signor Petruchio, I'll speed you with my daughter. We have agreed so well together that upon Sunday shall be the wedding day. I'll see thee hanged on Sunday first. Give me your hand, Kate. I will into Venice to buy apparel for the day of wedding. Uh, I will be sure my Catherine will be fine. Well, then God give you joy, tis a match. Father and wife adieu, I must unto Venice, Sunday comes apace. Ah, we will have rings and three things and fine array. And uh, kiss me, Kate. We will be married on Sunday. <laughs> Signor Hortensio, this is the day that Petruchio and Caterina were to be married, and yet we hear not of our son-in-law. What will be said? What mockery will it be to lack the bridegroom when the priest arrives to perform the ceremonial rites of marriage? No shame of mine! To get my hand opposed against my heart, I told you I he was a frantic fool! He never means to wed where he had food! And now the world is pointing poor Catherine and saying, Lo, there is Mad Petruchio's wife! If it please him to come and marry her! Patience, good Catherine and Baptista, too. Upon my life, Petruchio means but well, whatever fortune stays him from his word. Come, come, where be these gallants? Who's at home? Ah, uh, uh, where's Kate? Where's my lovely bride? Oh, father, gentles, methinks you frown. Why, sir, you know today is your wedding day. First we were sad, fearing you would not come, now sadder that you come so unprovided. And tell us, what hath so long detained you from your wife and sent you hither so unlike yourself? Tedious it were to tell and harsh to hear. I will excuse it at more leisure, but uh, where's Kate? I stay from her too long. Come, see not your bride in these unreverent robes. Go to my chamber, put on clothes of mine. Not I, thus I'll visit her. But thus I trust you will not marry her. Ah, uh, believe me, thus I will. Uh, it is to me she's married, not unto my clothes. Come, Viola. Yes, sir. He has some meaning in his mad attire. We will persuade him, be it possible, to put on better and go to church. I'll laugh to him and see the end of this. <laughs> Stupid 
again to take it up, the mad-brained bridegroom gave him such a cuff that down fell priest and book and book and priest. Now take them up, quoth he, if any dare. What said she when he arose again? Oh, well, trembled and shook for why he, he stabbed and he swore as if the vicar meant to cause it him. But, but after many ceremonies done, he calls for wine. A hill, quoth he, as if he were aboard, carousing to his mates after the storm, uh, quaffed off the wine and threw the sops all in the sexton's face. This done, he took the bride about the neck and kissed her lips with such a clamorous smack that that departing all the church did echo. Such a mad marriage never was before, my St. George. Uh, and lo, sir, canst thou believe there is more, for uh, Bianca was wooed by the young schoolmaster, which, which I had hired. And ended one wedding, so began the next, uh, with schoolmaster and pupil being happily joined. Uh, and the story tarried not there, for the schoolmaster was, in fact, Lucentio of Pisa, disguised for the purpose of courtship, and the one we thought to be Lucentio, uh, uh, but his servant, Trania. <laughs> Gentlemen, I thank you for your pains. I know you think to dine with me tonight, but my haste asketh hence, and I must say farewell. And it's not possible that you will away tonight? Well, I will away today, before night comes. Now if you love me, stay! Kate, be not so angry. I will be angry! You shall at my <laughs> leisure! Gentlemen, forward to the bridal dinner. Yes, yes, you that command on her unto the bridal dinner. You must follow my Catherine's words. But as for my bonnie Kate, she must with me. Ah, uh, look not big, nor stamp, nor fret. We will, will, you must be mine. Let them go, a couple of quiet ones. Uh, went they not quickly, I should. Die with laughing. Gentlemen and friends, though neither bride nor bridegroom want to abandon their seats at the table, let's go. First, no, my horse is tired. My master and mistress, fallen out. Out of their saddles, into the dirt. We came along down a muddy path. My master riding behind my mistress. strong temper. 